Welcome guys you beautiful Nikkei players. In today's video we're going to be talking a little bit more about our brand new limited character Lord Miller. Now this video is probably titled Lord Miller vs Modernia because I wanted to talk a little bit more about why I believe Modernia is slightly better than Lord Miller. However, there is a there is a little requirement for that. So I personally love using Modernia over Lord Miller. Now I have seen a build where you can actually get infinite ammo with Lord Miller, which kind of makes her kind of similar to Modernia, which you can build with unlimited ammo as well. So in that sense, a lot of people like to compare both of them, and also because their damage is kind of actually similar. If you guys do like a damage comparison between Lord Miller that is built up the same as a built up Modernia you will actually notice that the DPS is technically the same now this is probably done in uh, this the union no union rate sorry the uh, shooting range so the shooting range will probably show you guys that that damage is like relatively equal give or take a couple but obviously you need to you know take a look at Modernia um, Lord Miller sorry and realize that she's actually buffing up Modernia at the same time and you're probably wondering what well yeah if you take a look at this she does actually increase damage taken by 11.42 percent for three seconds now obviously if you get this to level 10 it's increased even more but essentially Modernia is also benefit from benefiting from this so i kind of actually find it funny that a lot of people including myself initially called her a selfish unit but if you take a look at a kit technically yeah but she also has this ability to increase damage taken which will be absolutely fantastic against bosses so anyways to say modernia is better than lord miller technically i prefer them but i do think they are actually kind of equal because one thing to note about lord miller is yes if you're going against enemies without cause she is not going to be out dps in modernia in fact her dps damage kind of falls off a bit so she isn't going to be worth using however Okay, and again, if you take a look at Madonna, if you use her against bosses, her damage is going to be consistent um, every place. So against bosses, her damage will be huge, well, decently huge. If you burst with her, you kind of lose out on a bit of damage. Um, but if you take her into stages with a lot of mobs, even if they have cores or without cores, whatever, exposed cores or without exposed core, Madonna's damage is always going to be consistent. However, when you take a look at Lord Miller, her damage isn't going to be consistent if you're going against enemies without cores. Uh, um, exposed cores however when you are going against enemies with, with exposed cores her damage has the potential to scale even higher currently right now we don't have like a dedicated boss to test this character out to see the full benefit of this unit but I can definitely say she's not going to be out DPS in Lord, um, Red Hood I don't think she's going to be out DPS in Red Hood um, maybe close to Red Hood or maybe slightly lower but I don't think she's going to be as good as Red Hood. Red Hood is absolutely insane. And I've seen people actually say because she's not as good as Red Hood, then you don't need to summon for her, which was the dumbest take I've ever heard in my life. Like, just because she's not on the same tier or the same, like, DPS as the broke one of the most broken unit in the game, she's garbage or she's not a must summon, you guys are smoking. Just take a look. In stages where you're going against exposed cores, it's usually like a... Um, DPS check or DPS ranking with other players as well. So obviously you're going to be one team with Red Hood, but you're going to need more strong DPS in your other team. So to say Lord Miller isn't good because she's not as good as Red Hood is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard ever, and I can't believe people are actually saying that. Um, but anyways, in, in regards to Modernia, I just prefer Modernia because she's more consistent. Whenever ever I need a, a like a unit to include in my team, it's always going to be Modernia. Modernia with another. St um, um, great DPS, Red Hood, uh, Winter Lord Miller, literally any other DPS, I always slot in Madonna because her damage is actually always consistently good, and that is great. But with Lord Miller, you can't always consistently slot her in. However, her damage against core, enemies with core boss, enemies with exposed cores, will definitely be higher than Madonna when we have the weight a way to actually fully test that out so personally i do think Modernia as well as Mon lord miller are on the same tier however for different reason Modernia is just a consistently amazing unit every content interception boss she literally will help you cheese to break the parts to um to you know shoot down aoe um stuff being done to you Modernia is the queen literally for that She's always consistent in every stage. In campaign stages, she is absolutely amazing. When you're going against multiple mobs, you want to deal with a huge amount of AOE damage, she is there. 
um, infinite ammo as well and now we have Lord Miller maybe not that good in campaign if they don't have exposed um, exposed cores it's great damage overall but um, you still need probably consistent AoE damage or great damage against bosses I guess you can actually technically use her in, in campaign stages but she's not going to be as good as Modernia in my opinion because Modernia just like hits everywhere and obviously if you have another burst free character to use and you have Red Hood, you're probably just going to use Red Hood instead. But still, Lord Miller is fantastic. She, if you're, if you're going to say Lord Miller versus Madonia, I would say Madonia has the better, is the better character to get. If, but we obviously are not comparing that. Um, but if you guys have Madonia and you're looking at Lord Miller like, oh, she's on the same damage as Madonia, I shouldn't get her. You guys are smoking again. Definitely get her, guys. Definitely get her. Limited character will not rerun until next year, 2024. You absolutely want this unit. So I'm going to be taking her into campaign. Right now, she's not going to help me if uh, my CP is too high, which right now my CP is way too high, so we get obliterated. So I'm hopefully going to try and find a stage where I can show you guys her damage. Um, oh my days now we can't even do this we're gonna get obliterated because look at this um okay i'm gonna go with this team over here but i might need to switch this off usually though i would probably run either this team take this off put red hood actually you know what i will put okay first of all we'll see this team first then i'll take this out and put red hood instead i want to see if they work well together now in terms of my build for lord miller not as not not on the same tier as madonia uh, Ludmina is a relatively new character. I have not been able to build her up completely. Um, I need to get this to level 10. You literally need to get this to level 10. The most important skill she has, get this to level 10. Uh, and then you can work on the burst as well. You don't even have to worry about the reload speed, especially when you have that infinite ammo mechanic, especially when you run her with the bunny girls. So we're going to go in with this. Um, we're going to see how great the damage is or like how good she is in campaign. I do think she works better against bosses though lord miller is like a boss character um so let's just see now there is some enemies that literally will just shoot at us and do great damage so that pisses me off uh i think this they're aiming at us now oh yeah see look we just we just got obliterated i wasn't able to time it properly um so yeah we're going against like multiple little enemies around that you still need to do great damage. Madonia is that unit. Lord Miller is great for damage. I will be showing you guys. Like her damage is pretty good. But obviously AoE. Nah. She's not really doing AoE here. Uh, how do I know when to do this? There we go. There we go. So we can survive that. Great. Oh, I'm not going to be controlling because I actually suck. Okay, we got obliterated again. Uh, Yeah, we just got obliterated. But yeah. Bosses. She shines. She's definitely great. On the same tier as Madonia, if you see a tier list and Madonia is like triple S there, she should be on the same tier as well. But I also can see why people would probably place her a little bit lower as well, maybe double S there. I'm, I'm, refer I'm referencing, sorry, to Pride Wind's one. So Pride Wind has the highest tier being triple S tier and then there's like S double S tier and whatnot. So if we're using Pride Wind, I do think they should either put her in triple S tier or double S tier. That is where I think a lot of Miller places and uh, you definitely want to grab her um, So if you guys are free to play player, you're obviously saving for the New Year's program unit I will be making a video actually talking about who I believe that unit will be um, If we do get one because it's still, it's still a big if we don't know if we actually gonna get one And I think they should do a live stream if it is a live stream for the New Year's update You know there has to be a program character you know um, we haven't gotten any announcement right now so while whilst I'm recording it's on the 10th of December this is early morning like 1 a.m. so maybe we'll get an announcement in the future for a live stream but if they do just basically know we are gonna be getting a pilgrim character so that is gonna be exciting to see um, yeah some of the greatest DPS characters we've gotten so many good DPS character that is actually shocking because I was not expecting us to get a new amazing DPS character after Red Hood was released because when she got released I was like yo I we are sorted we don't need a new black like, amazing dps character what did the devs do a couple of updates afterwards they decided to release her this is pretty good um i'm gonna try to work on her today i don't have any resources to work on her in terms of skills and improving the oh i can do this in, in terms of skills and improving the gear i don't have anything so actually i'm gonna take her into here hopefully you guys oh i don't this enemy does not have any exposed cores like i said the interception she's not gonna be that great here no exposed cores 
so I'm not gonna risk taking her now so what I'm gonna do is uh anyways it's been your boy AC Gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out